to go live. We're Moment of true. We're live. <clears throat> we are live now. Well, my hair looks red. <laughs> oh, why? You you got you got uh, like you got a bit of a tan. <laughs> Have you been to the solarium, Tom? Yeah, I've got green hair now. Look, <laughs> purple. It's changing colour. Yeah, I've got. <laughs> well, that's fine. That's better. I've got uh, some uh, what do yeah. you call them? lights around the I, top of the bedroom. We are live. I can see it on my on the YouTube uh, phone. It's starting with the adverts. <laughs> Monetizing already. I'm a greedy bastard, aren't I? All right, for some. So there's two people watching already. Uh, we are just warming up in the chat. And uh, we got a Mr. Bear Baylor. I'm guessing it's a nickname, is it? Hi, folks, he says. Hey, all right. Hi there. Um, this, this is actually uh, our first... Well, it's our second live, live stream, but this one is a bit of, of a different one because we are actually going to be playing the first video that uh, Tom and I uh, did when we went down uh, down Mildam Mine. And that's a very special uh, recording, obviously. Uh, thanks, thanks for Tom. Thanks, Tom, for arranging it. It really was... Uh, a really that really last, amazing that last june weren't it trip that was going back last june uh, so, so we're gonna get a, a bit of an intro about what you guys want to see and obviously what uh who we are for those that don't know me i've been um doing mine exploring for well going back 15 years but previous to that i used to be a cave explorer so i've been doing youtube videos as you all know guys uh for a few years now and uh tom yourself uh you want to give us a just a quick uh basically summary of your history because you got a lot of history in terms of mining i know on the last uh, on the last chat the whole... you gave a lot of in-depth and you could talk for about an hour but let's try to summarize it in a minute right so uh started mine exploring when I was about 13. Happened a little bit younger than that because my dad used to be a caretaker of a mine in Bakewell and uh, it was my playground so it all sort of started from then. And I've been exploring mines about 45 years now and I also worked as a miner for around about six years in this mine that we're going to watch a video on and Salitol mine, uh, which started doing that in about 1989. Uh, and uh, I burst two discs in my back, and that put the end to my mining career. About so it's one of them, isn't it? You just get on with it. But uh, so I have a lot of experience, a uh, little bit of knowledge about it. So if I can help and share out, I will do. Yeah. So there you are, folks. If there's any question mine related that uh, Tom can answer, I'm sure. He will. So, Fagwood right. history on mining. Obviously, the mines that we talk about, they were in Derbyshire and uh, they mine for floor spam mostly. So, we're about to watch the, the video, the first video that we did on Mildam mine that was last year. And it's something a very special video because, obviously, uh, as people know now, uh, it's currently closed and um, it's kind of a piece of history that's not gonna repeat itself not in this form as we know it as we knew it anyway uh the future will tell uh of what's in in regards to the the industry of floor spar in derbyshire but as happen, it is yeah. you know uh the underground industry is finished as it is uh for now anyway well, it was the so last you got a yes absolutely so we're gonna get on to it uh have you got a drinking hand tom i don't want you going dry <laughs> yeah i've got one 
Right, folks, uh, make sure you grab a drink as well, because we're about to watch the first of the four series of uh, Mild and Mine. And this first one is about uh, 30 minutes, but obviously we're going to do quite a lot of talking over it and quite a lot of discussion of aspects that we might have forgotten during the exploration of the mine, actually. So here we come, the last floor spa. Minus uh, and yes, grab your cup, grab your popcorn, guys. <laughs> Here comes the show. Uh -huh. As usual, I do my sort of personalized. Uh, intro here we go in the mine oh god <laughs> no phoenix lights on my head what else hey tom uh, I'll, I'll stick to me wisdom and science guy you're all right i know you're happy with your wins wisdom yes, i can't blame you i like my wisdom i like my science guy We've got Steve, Katie and Michal. Yeah, Steve and Michal, they came along to the trip. Uh, they were a good company, actually. They were. Now, no, uh, the segment, as you're going into the mine that you can see, actually came from Portal Sea at uh, Garsington Reservoir when they built that. So when they started, when they first put the uh, first round in, in there to start the mine, once he'd gone in a little way, they uh, showed up the entrance with the segments that came from there. Which, funny enough... Oh, so that's where they were, the segments from from Carsington, Carsington, Carsington Water, Water, you say? Yeah, it was, it's from the, yeah, yeah, uh, the overflow. The, from the, uh, the overflow. Yeah, the concrete segments, are they? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, just just rewind into the segments that you're on about. They're those... Uh, right there they can see well they're all the around the right hard corner well. yeah i actually did i actually delivered them to the mine as well and up to cavendish mill from there when i when i was uh, for a company i drove for at that time yeah they they those on the on the retaining wall at the top yeah they're all all in that all in the yard they built it all up with them oh yes and them. and uh, yeah, yeah, I get it. And in the mine entrance, I can see now as you go in on the left. On the right, both right. sides. Yes, so those are retaining segments that they were used in. Was it in Carsingstone water, like the underground, an underground sort of uh, overspill tunnel, or was it? If, if you go down the A6 towards Watt Stanwell, you go over the bridge at Watt Stanwell, yeah. heading towards Belper. There's a lay-by yeah. on your right-hand side. If you look to the lay-by, the overspill came out there and uh, they lined that. When they, when they drove that sh tunnel, that goes right up to the uh, reservoir. It was a two or three mile, I think, and they lined it with them segments all the way through. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, um, those are the segments, yeah. Well, that, interesting, that, yes. The overflow, I think, from, well, yeah, it is, it's the overflow. They, they run it down into the river. I think it's the River Derwent down there. Yeah. It, they've got to be segments from a tunnel because because you piece them together you can see they have a, they have a, a slight curvature you piece them together they would make a full circular concrete well, they tunnel do, yeah. would they you do yeah yeah but right. yeah definitely in the portal it it does the job there that's a reinforcing mm. yeah definitely right that's a promise <laughs> I think that's when. Oh yeah, that's when my, when my my monitor was going off. Yeah, it was fumes from pick up. Good afternoon, uh, blistering barnacles. It was it was picking up um, carbon. Was it what, what fumes? The fumes from the car basically was picking them up. Yeah, from exa exhaust about where you're sat. Now, Dave, you're all right, mate. Dave's with us now, Antonio. C 
So we got our friend Dave Overground Underground. Make sure you subscribe to his channel. Great content. We'll be meeting next week actually in Wales, so that should be good. And up here when we go to the uh, line we're going to next Sunday. Well, we've gone Bristol Barnacles Adventures. I think uh, your name is Jamie, is that right? From what I've seen on other chats. Uh, we're gonna show on the chat on the chat. So yeah. And so yeah, we're showing everyone's comments now. Mm -hmm. It's going and at the top there's some signs for black engine. I know this black engine shaft here in the boundary with uh, Lady Wall. Good solid ground here where we're going down now. We're driving down under it. Somewhere underneath the gliding club now. On the flow edge. I think that's the best ground, is it? Because you can see it's driven into limestone mostly. Solid limestone all the way down here. Now, well, you didn't need to shore it up. And, uh, when we go round to the right, just down here, round yeah. to the left, sorry, the actual yeah. original drive carried straight on where that dump was parked. So we are getting deeper and deeper on the ground. As, uh, as yes, to sub level one, you mean? Wow. Yeah, that's where it Ooh, went. That there. was the main drive down there. It didn't go to the left, so it carried straight on, which blocked. Far yeah, the down drive on the left, right. yeah. So what have... the front end the cab. Oh, let's have a look at it. Get close, don't be shy. Hang on. Let let me rewind back because we got to sub level. Yeah. That's sub one down to right there now. That was the original drive into the mine. The one on the left, you mean? The one on the right as you're looking at it. That's sub one straight on. All oh, right. Yes. Uh, yeah. On the what's on the left is just the slit, as I remember. Was it? No. Or was it? The roadway goes no, around was... to the left there. All oh, right. We, that's we the got out one. and walked down sub one to where that duck's dump was parked. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I get it. Let's get on to the duck's dump. Now this is going to be uh, quite interesting bits because because there's quite a lot we can you know pick up from what we're going to be seeing yeah let's take a look at uh, oh let's have a look at it the dog's dumper yeah don't be shy yeah canadian made what can you tell us about the this dump this was for foliage of material was there obviously yeah these i think if this is one of the original ones this came actually came i think these came to salto if i remember right at first it didn't come to salto it's uh, a duct 15 ton dumper followed by so you you said it came down to Sai Hall, but it didn't actually. No, this one didn't. This is a later one. The early ones, I think you got yeah. a picture of the early one. I think I sent you a photo. The, the, the earlier ones, they... Uh, yes. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, you sent me a picture of one of the earlier ones. They're the ones that used to be in Sai Hall, were they? Yeah, they were the original. Um, Came in about 91. Yeah, I think we got it somewhere over here on one of the photos that you sent me. Let me see. And they were much earlier ones, were they? Uh, so we're going to share the screen. I'm just getting the hang of uh, this, but it's, oh, uh, it's quite a brilliant tool. Uh, Streamyard, I have to say, I'm getting to love it. Yeah, that's one of the early ones. Uh, powered by a five cylinder Deutsch air cool engine, uh, carried 15 ton, well, probably a bit more actually, and uh, totally different to the one that's down here for the simple reason is. You actually got the engine at the front, so you've got a massive bonnet on it. And they were not enclosed, they were open, these were. Um, there was a little bit of a windscreen, but other than that, it's not like if somebody's put windows in that one, but there were no windows in it before. It was open to the elements and bits of timber and soil and rocks and God knows where else. But anyway, you'll find out about that in a minute or two. But yeah, that's one of the originals. Sure. They came in 91, they did. And they yeah, went to so, sell it all. So, there were three altogether. So, 
so those were the ones in Sale Hall originally. Yeah. And uh, you you have got we're gonna talk about the your recent premiere, just it premiered about an hour ago, uh about uh some original footage from Sale Hall mine that goes back from the nineteen nineties. And I think that's quite priceless. Nineteen ninety one. I think that that's that's price that footage is absolutely priceless because you have the original footage of obviously of a lot of the workers that were down there that you know most of them. I knew all of them. And the pleasure you had the pleasure to work alongside them, I guess, at one stage or another. Shift. Yeah, we did. We all worked together, we all mucked in together, yeah. Yeah, and 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 the other thing is it shows the the machinery that was working on the ground, it mm -hmm. shows the yard. It shows where everything was, and mm. it's quite surprising when you look at your video. This this could be an any anyway another different episode if we're going to go and show that video. So I'm going to yeah, be we will do. very yeah. brief on it. Yeah, in a couple of yeah, when, we'll, when we'll all of them have been sort of been shown, there's another okay. three to show. Once they've been shown, then yeah, we'll, we will uh, we'll put them on and uh, let people have it. We'll put them on and uh, deep and right, yeah, and sort of uh, pick out all the information and you know. Uh, do a live easy. chat over them yeah uh but for those that uh, haven't got tom's channel uh please do subscribe i'm gonna put it there and uh as i said his most recent video is the original footage from sally hall mine and it's absolutely priceless and you got how many more to come up another two there's another three and then I will have some footage which I'm going to make of the mill. Uh, a friend sent me some uh, footage across. I mean, so I'm going to upload it to a video and, and the uh, mill processing the floor spar and the brighties and the lead. So uh, it'll make another interesting video that will as well. I mean, it's no more. Yeah. So it's, it's also and it's... quite priceless. Oh, absolutely. Because it's, it's history that otherwise would be unknown to the public yep. and this way is you show it as it was in the original format and contact and you have the direct link to that history because you work in you know those mines and you knew the people you know that are in the mine that were in the mine and that makes it ever, ever so special that connection does it and for you to you know just to show them on youtube i think it's fantastic definitely um blistering well, barnacles yeah. Just have a look for Old Miner 66 on YouTube and you'll find me, mate. Uh, he's no computer. Can you, put a link in, can you put a link in the chat? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you have to look for Old Miner 66. When you go on YouTube, just look for Old Miner 66 and it'll come up. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you've put a, there is no gap between it on that, and it's a big no O. There's no gap between the O and no, the mine, and it's a big O. So yeah, Jamie, have a look. Uh, you, you you're gonna love you're gonna love the original that original video. Anyway, going back to the um, to the dumper, th was was this a ducks a Canadian ducks dumper? This old one, or yeah. was it? Yeah, it's a ducks. So that's a ducks, but a previous model, the one that. We're about to see on uh, on Mildam is a much later model that goes basically to the nineties or to the later. Yeah, and that one there is probably eighties. Um, well, no, it's nineties. It was nine. Well, it probably back to eighties. But I mean, they were bought in 91, 1991 yeah. when they came to mine. So, yeah, probably. Yeah, we got uh, we got our friend. The Mine Explorer UK. He's been Mr. there a while. Uh, <laughs> hey, he's been there a while. Sorry, mm. I'm uh, I'm obviously the alcohol. It must be having an effect because I didn't see your comment. But uh, thanks for joining us, uh, Peter. Peter You're is uh, one of my you. dearest channel members, and uh, yeah. If you if you join for channel membership, basically for one ninety nine a month, you get uh, exclusive members only videos that don't show to the public, and early releases of 
every video, pretty much every video that I release, I pre-release it without adverts. So you're welcome to join 199 a month. You can cancel any time. Anyway, let's move on because nobody wants to hear about me. Oh, we it's all about three. Tom and the mind today. <laughs> Mine's so, three. <laughs> let's go on, shall we, Tom? Yeah, go for it. With the modern docs dumper. Modernish, yeah. Not far it wasn't driven in the mining museum. Carl, it's about seven or eight mile away from where I live now, that is. Lots of rust in there, yeah, true. <laughs> Have a good uh, good night at work, uh, Pete. Where have you gone, Antonio? You've disappeared. What are you done? She's a beauty, isn't she? Well, actually, I'm not. I'm not sharing. I'm not sharing the the video, am I? No, you're not. We're still looking at the right. old duck. Yes, <laughs> we're watching. We're watching paint dry. Uh, yeah. Let's a rust rock. Let's yeah. Let's go back to it. Um, share screen. Share the last four spa miners. Share. That is the dog's dumper. That's the dog. Uh, we got it now, guys. I'm sorry for that. And that's we're going to rewind back a bit. Door on it. Hey. That's actually got windows and a door on that one. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. It would uh, protect you more than uh, the older one that you were driving. Anyway, you had an incident with the older one. Yeah, carry on. That we're going to talk about it. Play oh, we're going to hear on the on the video, and that you can elaborate a bit more. Okay, Tom. Was it? Is it with diesel? No. It's a diesel one, is it? Yeah. The older ones. The older ones are tonic. Wow. Yeah. Look at this. Canadian. Well, this, is this, this went to Watersaw and all. Yeah. This one is Watersaw. This was that Watersaw as well. I'm sure I've seen this one in Watersaw when we sneaked in. The one that you saw at Watersaw with the other one, actually, for me, you know. Yeah, there definitely, you definitely seen this one in Watersaw. I've you seen this, the one oh, it was seen a, Watersaw. It was actually, a twin to this one. It was very similar. Once uh, mm. we sneaked in and uh, really it was there. It's got a diff sync cab on this one as well. The drive's gone on it. Knackered. It's probably still there, actually. I bet they've not dragged it out yet. I had all, you know, telling you about roof on the head. Yeah, that tell was, us. That, that was in one of these. It weren't here. That was in Salico. One of the older ones. They've got a big bonnet on that one. It's the same one. This will put water well, well, from Bella Rose. You got better in toast on. Yeah. You got better in toast on in one of them. That was it, yeah, in this one. In one of these dumpsters. Yeah. Relax. We're all open, <laughs> so it came in through the cab as well. Blimey. So, uh, yeah. What a beauty. What I didn't tell you, Antonio, was... <laughs> so, uh, it was the end of the shift. I was coming out in the last run, and we'd been on um, afternoons. So, it's about ten past nine. And <clears throat> my brother-in-law reminded me of this, actually. He was sat in the other seat. I forgot he was with me. And we were coming out the mine. And we'd come down the west incline. And we're coming up past the Graben. And they had big concrete slabs on the floor in there. They're still there now to this day. Yeah. These slabs are about, yeah. They're about 10 by 10. And we used to bed them on 10 mil pea gravel. But the amount of water running down there used to wash the gravel out from underneath them. So these dumpers were quite, well, they, I always said they were too big for in there anyway. And uh, as I was coming out, one of the uh, slabs rocked. The next thing I knew, I'd got boards, rock, toadstone, and God knows where else, hitting the top of the cab. And uh, 
almost uh, well it did bury the front of the dumper and uh, I was thinking am I going to get out of here alive and I completely forgot that Colin my brother-in-law was sat at the side of me when it happened so it was it was one of the corners of the cab that hit one of no, the rings the basically. it was the skip on the back because oh, the skip you, on the back is bigger than the how, cap, is it? If you look how high the skip is on one of them, and you think yeah. how, the, how they are, how high the arches are in Sally Hall, yeah, that back of that skip is level the, with the just at the bottom of the arch where it starts to bow over. There's so not much room, imagine, is there, for manoeuvre? There weren't. There was there were inches either side, literally inches either side. No, no, there isn't room. No. <laughs> I took as far I took two rings out, but people say I took ten. I didn't take ten. I weren't going fast enough to take ten rings. Ten rings is like forty, forty foot. There was no way. But uh, I took two out as I know of anyway, and uh, buried the front of the dumper. And uh, we had to walk out of the mine from there, which was about a mile, because nobody could get a past. mile. Best part <laughs> of a mile from where it was to the entrance. And the mine was oh shut for two days while they did repairs. And I was very lucky I didn't lose my job, but it was an accident. It was just one of them things that happened and there was no you could do about it. I, I just, I, I can't help thinking one of them Hollywood film scenes where, you know, people sort of come out alive from the ground. And uh, <laughs> that would have been you just coming out of the toe stone <laughs> and, uh, and making it out alive. Uh, yeah, you got very lucky there that you went sad. They're about 15. Most important, you came out alive. Yeah. We, we have we... Darren here. Go on. Yeah? Yeah. Sorry. I thought I could hear Yeah, that. they are used. Well, they are, the Cana they are uh, a Canadian dumper, Darren. They are made in Canada. So, yeah, that's right. Right, right. Yeah, they will be used all over. Yeah. Canada. Darren. Yes. Uh, I used through throughout Canada. I am guessing Darren is from Canada, uh, and he was asking what's what do you worry most about when you enter the mines? Obviously, uh, from a miner's perspective, it's got to be well the working operations creates a lot of instability. Obviously, you constantly you know blasting and this constant fractures of rocks you, and to be honest with you, you don't worry about anything because if you didn't worry, you'd never go in. You kind of get it over your head and try your best uh, just to get on. You just get on with it. You don't worry doing. about. It. There's no point in worrying because uh, if you worry, you, you like I say, you'd never go. You'd never go. In, you'd never go in a mine. You wouldn't go and do a job underground if you if you worried about it. You, you're not complacent. Uh, no, you're not. Don't worry about it. it doesn't mean you're not. It doesn't mean you're complacent. It means you kind of uh, put it over the back of your head and focus in trying not to do, do things right. Yeah, you don't think it's like when it. we go man exploring through collapses and stuff, you know, we we try not to touch anything. Do you worry? I don't know if, if worry is the word. I think you're right, Tom. You put it at the back of your head, don't you? Put a shovel with us when we went yeah. through a collapse once. Yeah, that'll be that another put, video for another put your time. Mind at rest. I wasn't bothered. <laughs> <laughs> that, that'll be another video for another time. So mm. the, hang on, because they're going to be several you know, chats like this or across, uh, we're trying to plan one a month, have we said. Mm -hmm. So, uh, anyway, we got quite a lot to go through. Shall we carry on? Carry uh, on, yeah. Sharing that experience, Tom. That's quite a, you know, to hear it firsthand is, it's quite touching actually to, to actually see, you know, that what you went through, but you came I'm out of it. breathing. Sorry. Yeah. Canadian build. What's why is this so hollow? Did it had an engine in here or something? That's all the hydraulic pipes in there. Oh, is that where the hydraulics go? Yeah. Yeah. Gearbox. No, it didn't. it's not gearbox anyway. That has to be the hydraulic system. You think I was making out as I went along? No. That's just gone creamy because it's. It's it's Gearbox and engines at back. Yeah, They're yeah. automatic as well. Yeah. Automatic. Yeah. They don't have gears, these do they? Is, yeah, they have. Is, uh, just, it's just like driving now. an automatic car. You just freaking place, drive and go say? for it. I should say so. Yeah. No, it'll be dragged out for scrap probably. Obviously, it's not going to be left here. Yeah. Hey, up, Josh. You're out, right, mate. 
Thanks, Josh. Thanks, for joining us. Thanks, Josh. To stay here, there's quite a lot to watch, review, and chat about. There's a diesel tank. One on the other side is an oil tank. That's an oil tank. It's so impressive to see. Uh, it's called a dumper, is it? A dumper. So that was less rewind. So that's that thing there. It's so impressive. Hang on. So your first one, the first one you've got there, that's a diesel tank. That's the diesel tank. Yeah, I reckon. And then the one behind it, that's, that's an oil tank. And that's the oil tank. So one yeah. diesel to run the vehicle and the oil tank to lubricate. No, to is no. it to lubricate or to no, it's to drive the the, Just go back. So if you look to drive the hydraulics, yeah. You can see if you can see it filtering pipes coming out there. Look there, that's that's the hydraulic the hydraulic system. All that's right, it. so that the that yeah, the oil the oil pushes through the pipes and drives the hydraulic uh, motors to well, lift it, the arms it, and whatever the steering and the uh, the skip and also they'll have one for the uh, gearbox as well the steering skip and gearbox yes makes sense it, it it's funny obviously when when you don't know much about mechanics like me you know you look at it and you don't give much thought but now you explain it it it, it just does make perfect sense does it and that's and why i think it's so valuable to go through these videos to just pick out details like this as well What's that? The engines were air cooled as well. Air cooled. They didn't have yeah. radiators on them. So, I think that's the dog stumper for now. Uh huh. And we're gonna we're gonna move along. Made in Canada, the dog stumper. <coughs> We're going to move along towards so, level two, I think. Now we can, we've been told we've got another we go past the three and a half kilometers to go. Guys, I can't wait. It was definitely carbon monoxide that was giving off, setting off the sensor. That's from there. We got <laughs> Urban next to you. Hello, everyone. Looks cool. So I'm on the ground. Hello there. Thanks for joining the chat. How do? Three and a half kilometers to go. And obviously, Black Josh is uh, there, greeting us as well. Hello, Josh. Black engine. We've only got it mine 500 yards <laughs> so far. And uh, as we have been going down an incline, my guess is uh, we are quite deep on the ground already, below the ground. Yeah, because we are on a gradient, one to ten gradient, are we? More or less. Yeah, it just drops down quite steep down here. You won't want to walk yeah. out anyway. No, no, we must we must be there a good, uh, you know, a few hundreds of yards. Yeah, please, uh, hold the wall, trying to hold any any possible collapse on the roof. Yeah. The, the mesh then uh, bolted across the roof. You can see everywhere. And here we come to a section of uh, arches, rings, they call them actually. The minor. They call them the arches, yeah. they are rings. Yeah, but they were bigger than what were installed, a lot bigger. Arches, arches is what they build the in uh, Rome. <laughs> is it? <laughs> Much bigger. Arches, don't call them, I call them arches, but they're rings. So the drives are going to be arches, rings, it don't really well. matter. So there's a way there. Right, Square that's it, the Tom. Banks. Go on that's that is the way to sub level one there uh-huh on the left yeah so what we've seen before must have been a slit no that it wasn't was that, going... was the, that was the original roadway into the mine so that was the original roadway so there was yeah. a set there was driven a second roadway a, a second sub level they, one road they drove, they drove round right so bypassed it okay anyway i think uh Jeff here is going to talk us about it a bit. So there's a way there, and it keeps going on the ground. And we have another stop, I guess, something else to see. This is what we call sub level one. So four different one. levels was working, yeah? yeah. We've got down, and we've, well, we've actually got five levels, but the fifth level is totally flooded. 
This is sub level one. If you go across there about 300 meters, there's the powder safe for explosives because it's away from where everybody's working. It has to be well away from everybody. The, the safe you came in down the road up on the surface is the debt safe. The powder is actually stored underground down here. So the debts and the explosives are not together in the same safe. Yeah, makes sense, because one would detonate the one other, can detonate potentially. Other. Yeah, so there's debts on the surface in that brick building you pass coming <coughs> down the lane, stone building, and the powder is stored down here about 300 metres down there. And that's only used for that road, just to get powder away is from it, where all men work. Why storing the gunpowder on the ground? Because if it does come, oh, yes. it's the safest place for it to be. I guess, yeah. If you're not on the ground, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense. If you're outside, it makes a lot of mess. If it's under here, it's, it won't go without a detonator anyway. It's very safe. It's, stuff, but it's the safest place. It's, to... it's interesting. Let's recap a few bits what he said here already, because I remember watching uh, watching your video on uh, Gonzalez Hall earlier. And it shows uh, some of the guys picking up the debts yeah. in the debt store look, just outside the entrance. If you look, the just entrance. going into the entrance of the mine, the side of the lamp room, there is the uh, powder safe, which is the red one that's down in there now. Yeah. It's sat on the surface. Nothing was kept down under in the mine there. No. They used Ampho and, and, the and they used uh, gel mix uh, there, Baylor. Ampho, they use gel they, mix. They used, they used a lot of ampho in this mine, but when, when I worked there, they used gel mix um, pills. In other words, sticks. Gel mix. Gel mix and ampho, they're just different. Are they different chemicals, I guess? Yeah, no, different kind no, of amp, Ampho basically is fertilizer. They mix it with diesel, and that's what gives it the boom. And gel is. It's gel, jelly night. It's uh, it's like uh, a solid pill. It's a plastic, uh, a plastic explosive, is it? Kind of thing. Of, yeah. yeah. Uh, Bear Baylor says Ampho is very stable. Yeah. Probably because when the when the diesel and the fertilizer are not mixed, then there is stability. I guess I don't know. Yeah. So uh, going back to what he was saying, obviously he was saying sub level five is flooded. <laughs> But if we go down to the mine, I think uh, sub-level three, four, and five would be fully flooded now. Probably. Uh, yeah, with uh, as time has gone by. Uh, so, yeah, so they kept the explosives on the ground, as he says, and for very good reasons. Have it well away from everybody working and stuff. Yeah, Ampho. Ampho, yes. Yeah. Well, we use Ampho in... But we can't use ampho when we're in spa. No. We have to use gel. Because it, yeah. yeah. Because it just goes into. Yeah, it doesn't take it. Don't take it, ampho. We do use ampho sometimes, but not always. This yeah, is sub -level it one. It, yeah. When we come to sub level two, I shall stop again and we'll get out and we'll go a little walk around sub two and show you some of the first headings and offsets. As we go to sub level two, um, so we're gonna have a look at sub level two in a bit after being in sub level one, as you can see there. And uh, see what else is gonna be done here. Can't wait. Uh, we have a oh, what's that? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I was getting excited there. I can see already a, a drill rig in the end of the tunnel. <laughs> Just going back to <laughs> excuse me, going back to Josh's comments about what they use in coal mines. Would they use Penable's explosives? Yeah, no. and polar Ajax for her rock. Have you heard of them, Tom? Inter interesting. Well, we used to use gel mix. It, it, probably same same sort of thing. They were pills. Um, yes. If you took the, they were they're in like a, a waxed paper. If you took the waxed paper off, because we used to use it for mm. using splashes. If you got it on your fingers and touched your forehead, you ended up with a massive headache. It was evil. 
Um, where we are now here, Joss, because you're actually under a hillside here, so it's hard to say, but you might be yeah. 300 foot underground here now. Well, in um, I, I think Black Engine could be one of the deepest areas. Well, it depends from which level you count, because if you count from from where we well, are now, probably about 300 where, foot, yes. Where you've gone in here, what well, you remember here, you've gone in here, you've gone in a... You've gone in on a, you've gone in in the hillside, so you're actually still under that hillside. Where Black Engine is, that's actually on the level road on the top between Full Oak. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a bit different. Yeah, nitroglycerine, yeah. Is the same sort of thing. That's why I used to get the headache. It's awful stuff. Yeah. Horrible stuff. I agree. It stinks as well. Yeah. That's what gives you the headache, does it? And that's why they headache with the uh, nitroglycerin one. Horrible stuff. And and uh, and Josh says, yeah, that's right. They're good good for angina, is it? <laughs> I wouldn't want to try it. No, I wouldn't <laughs> either. <laughs> right. Let's Ooh, keep. We got to see going, that. Going down. Antonio's getting excited. He's this uh, machine right before. on the on the face, I guess, is a a drill rig by the looks of it. We keep moving, so there must be something more exciting than this to see. I was like a kid in a candy shop. Just a bit. What do you say, dog with two dicks? And high the excitement. Wow, it's just amazing driving down here. Look at all the craving on top of them. You're very excitable, aren't you? Yeah. Something smells burning. <laughs> Something I don't know what burning it was. Maybe the highest. Ah, yes. Every sub level, obviously, is. Right, Come to sub level two. Hang on. What could Let's be back a away. I'm not sure. And Derek carries on. Let's back away because after this. Did we come into the level two? We just fast forward a half a minute. Wow, here we come. Here we are. Level two. These rings are as timorous as I have to watch in Solid Tall. They're extensions on them, mind you. Welcome to sub level two. Oh, wow. There's sub level two pump lodge. The pump lodge, yeah, here. on the left. I'm sure we are. Now we're down. Down there. So, this is a pumping system to pump the water out of the mine because water, obviously, yeah. like in most mines. Well, the thing is, we're not deep underground. Got no, to be an issue. No, it's, a, it's an issue. There's a big dam there. Look, if you look over at dam, you'll see that. I'm going to take a look around if that's all right, safely, yeah? This is mad. Look at this. Emergency resuscitation treatment. Oh. Uh, you know, when it comes to first aid, there's always new new updates done. That's probably not what you do now. I did... Uh, I, I did the first day training like um you know uh, a few weeks ago and apparently you don't you don't do you don't breathe in now you just you just oh. pump the heart you do yeah you, you, no, you used to do 32 life too. Anymore. yeah yeah you don't do, do the kiss of life uh nope. they say is is not that beneficial you actually just keep going keep pumping the heart until you know how it comes in so Mm. Uh, but I always like to see those signs. They're ever so interesting. Have you ever had to do that? Well, we're not going to need uh, the procedures for that. Uh, first aid kit, as you would expect on the ground. And some mine plants. And I mean, you look at the, you look at the first aid kit there, Tom. Which one? There's two. We're talking. And I, we're talking basic, basic 
minimal burns and uh, scratches. Plasters. That's you it. know, I'm I'm sure I'm I'm sure some well. You wouldn't expect to have a hospital on the ground, would you? Suppose <laughs> if, if anyone has anything more serious than that, they would just mm. take the mouse straight away, would they? And uh, and that's it to the hospital. But basic aid, you know, is necessary. We carry as explorers, we always carry, you know, a few bandages and stuff. Uh, that fits in the backpack, it's always good to have. Mm -hmm. As you would expect on the ground, and some mine really bad, and away with some mine plants, and <laughs> so on wet weather comes over the top of the I'm dam, really bad, and all the control panels, as you can see. No, there's no stretches, wow. Joe. There's so much. What is this water tank? That's the clean water tank. We get clean water out of there. What's that, Tom? What are you saying? Josh says there's no stretches. No, there were no stretches in there, mate. None whatsoever. No? No. Not in there, anyway. All right, so so you use the water that... Use the water to drill instead of paying for water. The water that's down behind the... That the, dam the, goes, into there, goes into there, which is then it's pumped up for another dam on first level. It's pumped up, up there, through that part, yeah, and then that feeds all the drill rigs. It makes sense. Mm. Why supplying water down here when you've got water well, in got abundance? Water, but you see, this is dirty water that's clean of them. Yeah, it's been sort of, yeah, it's clean by the, the natural gravity, obviously, cleans the particles down. When we came in January, this is full. Uh, filling over. Uh, back up there, I mean, that's where so we this, originally worked up back, back in there. Do you used to work there? Yeah, it was all now out the back of that. That's why they made it into a dam. But we're driving. When you came down, you saw that slit on your left hand side. You slowed down and you had to look into. That's where they're driving now, but the ground's that broken in there. That they're going to have to ring it all the way through and it's going to come out the back side of this dam so you are saying obviously that that level that's backed away with water yeah behind the dam with what they are doing basically they are they are utilizing it to to feed that reservoir there don't, don't they well that is that big tank the... that that dam there it's pumped all around the mine for all drill rigs. It, it just basically uh, it filters itself. All it says it sediment will stop it bottom and clean water gets pumped through to rigs and everything that to uh, use it. They use it on rigs, obviously, for clearing holes while they're drilling. Yeah, that's the level. And it was uh, you can see the, kind of a water line actually. Yeah, you can see water line. Where, where yeah, where where it would have been basically much higher. The water a, a few. A few a good three foot higher, yeah, and well, it makes sense. January, all the water just coming over that wall, yeah, gets reutilized. Uh, Josh, going back onto health and safety, he's asking about stretchers. There were stretchers on the ground, was there? Definitely, there might have been some when that snap cabin lower down, but I there's certainly none, there were none in there. Morphine, I don't think I have, like, yeah, like keep it in them now. I have seen uh, one section that we went of Sally Hall some years back, Ollie and I. Uh, I remember seeing actually a no stretcher made of bamboo. That was quite a quite interesting to see. Quite a quite a piece. Well, and the old first aid room and and that in there was that uh, on your right hand side where that uh, switch room is on the uh, north on the northwest parallel drive where the uh, Pretty well, much where the um, opposite where the uh, loco charging point was. That room with all the uh, electrical gear and that lot. That was the first aid room underground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, things like morphine. Would they have nope. had morphine? You think? You're not allowed. You're not allowed to have it. No, you think that no, miners could have uh, abused abused it? No, you can't carry anything like that in a first aid kit anymore. You're not allowed to. No, no. Probably back in uh, 
Josh's day as a, uh, days as a minor, maybe? Is that something that they carry, Josh? It would be interesting to find out. Um, it would be quite interesting, actually, to get a live chat with Josh, because I'm sure he has a lot of knowledge from mm. his days as a coal miner. But yeah, uh, let's carry on. We've seen, we've seen the reservoir, which went back, basically, to sub-level one. Is that right? The drive at the back of it, where they were, yeah. Clean off the back of it, yeah. Okay. And? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we, the Saunders valve. Yeah, we've seen them all, uh, all in uh, water, so have we? In Salico, yeah. Wow. Saunders valve. Look at this. Hey, oh God, it's amazing this. So that's the water pump, as you can see right there. Yeah, that's what filtered the... Uh, is that that's what filtered that the water that's out? Man. That's just the pump. That's just the pump, out. yeah. Overhead the... Uh, Sets it through. If you look there, look them valves mm -hmm. there, the non-return valve pushes them through. No them. return valve. Sends it out to rest at mine. You look underneath his handles on it to shut them off. Like a butterfly. Yeah, on everything it. gets reutilized from one mine to another, does it obviously? Some of it been salvaged. Like I say, they were supposed to go back into water sort of, and they didn't, so it got robbed. Well they did go back in, but it got robbed, so it just wasn't cost effective anymore. Look, it gives you the walk in this. So, from where we are, 15 minutes, I think it was, it would be more like half an hour. It's uh, uphill, isn't it? <laughs> I think he's underestimated. I remember walking out from sub level to port, from sub level to the pump station to the other, and it, it probably felt like half an hour. Maybe it was 15 minutes uh, anyway. Uh, we're going to uh, highlight some of the comments. Obviously, Josh is asking. Is saying that, well, just bear first. Any trees going down there soon? Well, no, nope, currently the mine is not accessible, is it? So, no, you'll never get in there. On, yeah. yeah, on, on, well, carry maintenance, possibly short now. Uh, so, no official wow. trips down there. And uh, just this. says that the morphine they didn't carry but it was kept in a welded steel box with first aid and stretcher so interesting so the coal miners had it as part of the uh, first aid kit mm -hmm. but kind of kept it uh lock or safe like like a bit of a cosh covered you know just uh or control medication covered you could say uh and it was used quite often wow doesn't bear thinking about yes. that, doesn't, does it? Yeah, no, it doesn't bear thinking. To, to, to have to need morphine, you know. Mm. Uh, yeah, On onwards then, from sub-level 2, let's have a tour around. Then still sub-level 2 portal. 15 minutes. So, to the added, it'd be a good 40 minutes. To get out, yeah, something like that. 25 minutes to black engine, to, to black engine. Escape shaft. So black engine, black engine escape shaft is 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 a, well. Yeah, we're going to talk about it. But basically, there's a 25 minute walk. That's crazy. And it was more like 50 Let's minutes. Let's take I think. a look at the rig. <laughs> Wow. Gone and gone. Tom, have you seen that before? The Epi Rock rig. Wow. No, no. Seeing what? The writing on the on the on the actual drill rig. Right? Can't see. We have pictures in the way. The pictures in the way. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna do it different. 
Can you see now? Oh, wank wages. <laughs> yeah. I have seen that. I, well. <laughs> it, it wasn't the best, babe. Me. It wasn't like when I worked. I mean, when I worked there. Maybe in, in the earlier days, though, it was it good was very well paid. I've heard, yeah, because I spoke with a with a miner from Lady Watch that were there in the seventies, and he says it was really good pay. So maybe later days. Well, I was on in the early nineties, taking home three hundred pound a week, which then was pretty good money. Three hundred pound a week, yeah. Back in them days, yeah, About thirty uh, years ago, it, it was. 34 years ago wow yeah it was really good money uh josh says that he was a first aider on the ground well so yeah. that makes sense why he would know about uh the use of morphine and the stretches and everything and i'm sure he's a lot more got a lot more knowledge that he could tell us about um no it wasn't yeah. me that wrote that i didn't work there that 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 when i worked there that that machine was probably still a baked bean tin or something like that. <laughs> it was. It was a, I did. It's thirty, nearly thirty years ago when I worked in that place. And uh, before, so before the escape route uh, was, before they reached Black Engine, what was the escape route? Was there an escape route? Yeah, where you came in. So just the way you came in. So they had yeah. to reach all the all the distance to Black Engine Mine, which is about a couple of miles maybe. When when I there. when I worked there, Black Engine they hadn't even found Black Engine Mine Shaft. It didn't exist. So if it anything, known, basically. The, you came yeah. out the way you you came out the way you came in. That was the only thing. Yeah, yeah. Because Lady Wash wasn't the, the only level in Lady Wash that was accessible then was the 160 foot level uh, because it hadn't joined up to the 280 foot level. And as you know, Lady Wash was flooded, so you couldn't, you, you, you know, back then you couldn't, you couldn't get near it. So yeah, you came out the way you came in. Yeah. 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 And it would make sense once you're driven, uh, a fair distance in to have to establish an escape route you know and then it would it, it makes more sense that deeper you go into the mine yeah mm. thanks for clarifying that tom <laughs> let's move on to some uh, beautiful machinery the drill, here the drill rigs i guess we're going to see something else i'm That's coming yeah, yeah. Oh, well, our friend jeff uh later on talks a bit more detail about it but we're getting side uh, we're getting well, sidetracked yeah, with something right. else well, i took you and showed it your last yeah, time you did, yeah you did yes yeah that's uh they say fucking explosive syndrome the, the yeah, yeah. yeah explosive safe yeah just yeah i've seen one in water then. so much older that opens on the top yeah yeah still there in water so yeah, that is definitely the closest keep, uh, safe, is it? Is where they keep the yeah, just a day box there. one. That's, that's day box, as in just for the use of the day of the shift, basically. Yeah, or basically, yeah. And the main storage would have been elsewhere. If you look at now, these, we come in. We, yeah, we are yeah. coming here. We're coming here to one of well, I think it's the it's biggest scope. scope I've ever seen. That one, absolutely no, the one's lower gigantic. Down. The yeah, when yeah, when you go lower down, so, suppose you can look higher up. But this is. But huge. I think that the size of this one really, really impressed me. I'm going to take a look. Meters, and you fire it down now. If you just poke your head under and look up, you'll actually see how high it is upwards. Yeah. You don't go too far far in. Shine it around to your to your liking. Look up there. Oh my God, this is massive. Mm. I tell you what, this is the biggest stope I've ever seen. Yeah. Than that here, <laughs> this, is, this, is a, this is a baby. <laughs> this is a baby stope. This is a baby. This is nothing, honestly. Oh my God. And it runs that way as well. Right. That's about. Look, you can see range as well as 74. 
You can see the veins are spy, yeah, there. Yeah, you can hang calcite. Yeah, yeah, it's you it's you can see all the it's it's quite it's quite a layer, is it? Yeah. And you can see black band no, before can you can see it there, look. Yeah, and you can see I think that, that blackness that you can see at the top, that that must be shale or something similar. Ninety-four shale. Mine's full of it. Yeah, yeah, you can see uh it's it's got a dark colour that's gotta be part of the overlaying shale that's over the limestone in the mine, is it? Yeah, so bare bale is asking to basically the, 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 the mind. Oh my god, the lead in there. Level at yeah. a time, so they mine sub one and then they come down to sub two and drill up and fire it down again. The size of this, I know somebody that we're collecting that way. There's this, this, there's one cave, there's one cave in Menorca that's got the biggest, the biggest room, it's about the size of this. So that it was stoked from the bottom up, is that right, Tom? Well, you're on sub two here, so sub one's directly above you. So sub one, yeah. they'll 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 attack they'll attack the spar out from sub one first, and then they'll drop down, and there'll have been a, a crust in between sub two and sub one, and then they've drilled long hold it again from this level up, and then fired it, and obviously it's bought it all down. And that's how it worked. Yeah. Like they like laid it as they went down, if you know what I mean. So. You, yeah, you layer it first level, stope, bang, Drop go down. second level, go down stope, and bang, go again. Down. Yeah, and the and the and the stope gets bigger and bigger as they yeah, keep mining see, on see a map more of this levels. Place, it explains it it's how each level goes. Each level pretty well runs on top of each other. Yeah, yeah. They they mine the same stope, the same sort of vertical and just or kept horizontal. It, coming not down, vertical. Yeah. On a slant of a vein, yeah, and they keep coming attacking the vein in, in sub levels, but yeah, yeah, so from top down. down, okay, so they mine top down, okay, that, that does make sense, does it? Yeah, otherwise, you're going to be having like four or five hundred foot you know, steel that, one, size of the other day. that one there, the flat one, that's probably about seven ton, yeah, big and up there. That you can't see that's probably about 15 ton that it is absolutely balmy and this but, is a, this, this is a baby stove this is tiny compared to some of them but if you look how how the roof is don't, don't as well it's it's like bedded the same as a bit like the dragon's eye was yeah you see how it's all but, but if you look up there there's a bit of toady in that as well look can you see it across there's the a band top? of uh, to toad toad stone, you can see. and then there's clay as well on. tin yeah are you getting tin no, down here to... yeah so going going back to the stove tom obviously you were saying that there's def different bands of stone different bands of um uh what they call the Toadstone, which is volcanic rock, which causes a lot of inst uh, in instability in mines that we see today, and that's where we come through places like Sale Hole, like full of collapses, don't we? <laughs> yeah. Because the the weakest sort of seams of uh, of of the toadstone just decompose and they get all wet, and la the layers of um, of rock beneath it they start coming down. It's it's absolutely terrifying. Some of the <laughs> collapses we've been through tom but when now you look at that sort of stove you were pointing out that big rock that's like five tons you know and uh in the olden days in the lady wash mine mining times you know they were they were stoping under the stove uh, what what was the method called it was a cave in they were firing right under this the vein were they mining right under the vein and that was causing a lot of, obviously, a lot of fatalities, a lot of injuries because of... Well, that's the word, the, the, and they stoked, they stoked it. That's what it was called, stoked They stoked it, it but right under it. Whereas there, they were they attacking it, the obviously, with long holes away from it, on the side of it. Well, where, where, in the olden days, they drove in the ore because it was the easiest way of mining it. It was, you know, it, it was soft, weren't it, where you think now modern mines are driven in the stone, and then you... You drill through the stone, through the ore, 
until you hit stone again and then you long goal it. So then you drill up and as you drill up, you uh, fire it down. This one's slightly different yeah. to what Palito were with because the, if, you, if you look on the, on the uh, edges of these slits, you can see where they've actually drilled in from the roadway and up into the slit where Salito, we used to go in with the rig because it were rung, we'd take boards out and uh, drill it, we'd take rings out and drill it and then charge it and fire it down and then just keep creeping back like that till we'd, you know, you, you drilled up until you sort of went through the auto stone, right, fired so, it and then so, did so the you, same again. So you drove the slit you drove the slit fully into the vein and then you'll you fire drove, away and move you drove it through the vein through the vein into the uh, till you hit uh, stone at the other side and then you drilled up and fired it down Hodges on he'd probably tell you a bit more hey. about it than I can John John Hodges on uh, I'm very very pleased that you managed to join us just I got home well. from work yeah uh, don't worry we got another another half an hour at least <laughs> so you're in good time really so grab a cup grab your popcorn and join us uh yes so thanks tom for for the clarification you know the different mining methods in different spa mines it's it's like bedded the same as a bit like the dragon's eye was yeah, you see how it's all. But if you look up there, there's a bit of toady in that as well. Look, can you see it across there's the top? There's a band top? of uh, toadstone. Toad 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 you can see, and then there's clay as well. Tin. tin. Yeah. Are you getting tin now, down here? Look at this. Ah, is... oh, yeah. Yeah, come and tell them what they all are. That would be. That would be calcite, would it, Tom? That's calcite, yeah. Calcite dog tooth, like, yeah. So what what oh, metals? So you mine the metals down know. here as well. Yes, I've got so a really good talk to show that up now. So you know, you can see that. Those little bit. cubes are your bits of spa, look. and up there look shining. Calcite. So to, 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 yeah. to call it a floor spa mine is a bit unfair, really. It's you could everything. call it a everything. mixed metal and floor yeah. spa mine. And that's why we're coming here because we've, we've put long holes up there, fired that down, and then fetched it out with a remote control loader. You fetch it out with a remote control machine. So. And uh, that's a good point when he was talking about uh, when when I was asking him basically about what is it that they mine here, right? And he was saying that basically they they mine everything. They mine the lead. They mine the the spa. And yeah. you even said that they would use even the the limestone, would they? Really? Oh. Limestone used to go up to the mill, and there's from both here and Solitol. There was a company up there that used to uh, crush it and sell it as roadstone. Right. So, they, for, like, a, to, like for aggregates, aggreg like the limestone for aggregates, yeah, for roadstone. Yeah, that's, that's and... basically what they did. In fact, don't know whether it's still there, but it was there up until the mill shut anyway. Yeah, yeah. So um, nothing, pretty much, was wasted, was there? Nothing was wasted. Yeah. So yeah, cauliflower spa mine seems seems a bit unfair. It's like putting a sticker to something that's a bit more, you know, a bit more of a complex mine than that, is it? So well, it we got thirteen B was mineral mine. Yeah, we got thirteen B was there. Thank you all, guys. Uh, yeah. Just a reminder that we are talking. We're chatting here with uh, Tom, who used to be a former miner and now is a mine explorer. And we've been together on some explorers and some of the mines that he used to work, such as Salad Hall and Water So. And for those that uh, haven't got his channel, that's his channel. Just uh, go in All Miner 66 on YouTube, you'll find him. He's got some great content. Okay. We're going to be moving on uh and we're gonna go on to quite an excite quite quite a bit quite an exciting bit that Put i found up there fired that down and then fetched it out we're in there we go right and fans you were mesmerized by them weren't you? i was absolutely yeah mesmerized because i've always seen them like inactive well not quite like this but 
I never seen one going. And you'll see the sound of it is. I couldn't believe it. Can we hear it? Can you hear it, Tom? That fun. It's like a plane engine. Yeah. Hang on, let's back away a bit, see if we can hear it. Right. Up. Is this the fan? Is this the fan? the fan? Ventilation fan. This is the fan for the ventilation system. Yeah. i never seen of them. you never seen them run? I've, no, I'm not running. Oh, just the... Oh my God, we're going to get ventilation running. Let the rock fan. Cost a fortune, maybe. So you can't hear the sound, but basically, uh, it was it was like a jet engine, wasn't it? Um, yeah, well, I would. can you hear me, Tom? I can hear you, yeah, no problem, mate. I can hear you, book fan. It's like a plane engine, yeah. Right, and we're moving on. So you this link down to the level three, but we're not going to walk it out. We are. That right there, look, going up to some level one. You remember? Ah, uh, yeah. Right? Is this an old escape escape route? That's an escape route. Yes. So the miners need escape routes, obviously, if they yeah, all, some of the levels collapse. The right, it's basically uh, scaffolding. With, we're not going. I'm going to go in. I'll just film in it. They basically, Tom, them ladders. They were going up to sub level one. Is that right? Yeah. So he said they weren't there when I worked there, mate. Don't worry about that. That's new or new. Yeah, yeah. Are they fairly new? Because they look in quite a state. And I was like, shall I climb them? I was like, no chance. <laughs> well, I don't, I mean, I don't know how long they've been there. I haven't got a clue, but they certainly weren't there when I were there. Yeah, uh, but uh, I know, I know, definitely they go to sub level one, as I remember, when I was exploring them from sub level one. We looked down on it and we thought this doesn't look uh, very safe to go down. And when we came from below, as in this same build that I'm looking up and like, no, this is not safe to go up, so we're going to pass on it. <laughs> So those went there when you were working. Obviously, you were working in the nineties, was it? Yeah. Well, we didn't. We didn't. When we put risals in, they weren't done with scaffolding like that. They were boarded out. And they had proper um, stagings and everything else, and uh, actually built into rock. They were not built like that. They were solid. Yeah. 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 This this is a kind of a flimsy sort of scaffolding ladder way, basically, the compared to the stagings they used to build. We have John saying here, uh, they only use a small amount of waste rock. He got sent to Twin and Country for Crushing, then came back to the dam for the road, waste, chaps. We wasn't allowed to sell the stone. It was used to fill the empty stoves. Right. So only amount of only a small amount of the rock, uh, the limestone they mined, apparently. So thanks for clarifying that. John, uh, and he's got another question. Was the rice hole there, Tom, when you were there? No, it wasn't. Okay. Yeah. No, that's what you're answering, Tom. Thanks. Right. So we're going to move on. But yeah, this is the miners' escape route, basically. Oh. And this has been here for a while, judging by the amount of frost it has. It's been here since Tom's day. 
Oh yeah, sub one. Yeah, this is probably one of the old rise holes that I drilled with Boa with drill rig. It's probably been here about thirty years. This. In in mining terms, you always call it a rice hole. You don't call it a shaft or a wings. So you you, you just call it a rice hole. Yeah. That's now that's another subject for discussion, Tom. Because uh, we see a lot of the terms that people call it shaft, rice holes, and Windsors, and every every area in the country has a different way. I suppose almost probably every 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 county, I guess. uh hang on can you hear me tom okay we're gonna keep going i can't hear you but uh we're gonna keep going can't hear tom no i can't hear you hang on tom Okay, a mute, a mute microphone, remove. Uh, uh, okay, we're gonna add him again. We can't hear him. No, uh, we might have lost him, but we're going to add him to the stage and we're going to keep uh, playing the video anyway. And uh, keep going. Right, let's uh, carry on with the video. Here we go. That's what it's called in Derbyshire. Obviously, you 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 will have noticed working around the world, every country has different mining terms. Totally different, yeah. It's interesting, fascinating. We're not going to go into this because there's so much to say. Come on, Thomas. You you light it up so I get the perspective. Now look above your head. Oh wow, so this, this is another stove basically. Yeah. And that goes all the way down the sub -3, Can you sub -3 level. come out and come back So in? what happens? So the it... drill it here, you drill from there, backside, up with a long drill, and then you fire that you just fire at the front bit of the Let's tubes. See. You put it in tube explosives. Yeah. And then you just fire at the front bit of your tubes. So that, that comes falling down here. You don't affect this, you just affect that bit. Up there. So, right. but obviously when they when they uh, fire in the sub level, it broke through the stop above. Yeah. Is that what happens? It breaks through to other one below. And yeah, they, but they didn't especially they collect it out there because it was safer. Obviously, yes. So they collected all product down there. So uh, Jeff here is explaining very clearly the mining method that uh, Tom was on about of uh, basically working from the top and going the way down into the stopes is that right tom can't hear tom <laughs> he's on mute <laughs> we're gonna have uh tom getting we're gonna teach tom to do some sign language because we can't hear him. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Tom. Uh, Tom, can you hear me? If you can hear me, try to come out from the from the chat and come back in. See if that will work. I'll ring you, and we'll keep watching the video anyway. Uh, 
No. Yeah, you have to work basically your way bottom upwards. So you have gravity on your favor. You come out and come back in. You leave and come back in. Down there. They didn't collect it here. They collected it down there. Makes perfect sense. Yeah. No, no. We're not going to go. Uh, but basically, basically, this yeah. is one absolutely massive cavern that. This can't awesome. see the bottom of it. See, where, where machines were running out walls. And there's some of the old man old there. Working there yeah. Yeah. Old man workings there, yeah. 100%. There, look. Yeah, you can see the... Oh, it's all silted there. So that could be the, the stoke from the old man. I, I think all this was part of the stoke from the old man where they were chasing lead. You can see the... Right, there. can you hear me now? Yes, yeah, it looks running. Yeah. Thank you, Tom. Awesome. Can you hear me now? This has been blasted the last six months. In the last six months, yeah. Yeah, again, another stove. Sure. Yeah. And, a, and a heather there. Yeah, they were good planets were further on, but they were frightened that they were coming in, so we stopped it. Right, so the ground was getting basically very, very unsteady. Very, very unsteady. Yeah. But very mild, very, you can see end of tube there, look. Yeah. That's how we actually fire it. Oh, yeah. We put the explosives in one tube and then we tape about 10, 15 more tubes on the back of it and push them up and keep pushing them up, and keep pushing them up, and then you fire out at front end of the tube. Yeah. So the actual explosive goes in the tube, yeah. which makes it easy to sort of slide in the slide hole. Slide in the hole, yeah. I'm going to take a, just a quick look yeah, at you're it. You're all right. No, I'm, we're just, I'm just stopping you so there's one back side. Please, yeah. So that's the tube they use yeah. to actually push. The explosive through. Now, Tom, just a question on them because obviously we didn't do it with the like long holly with the long holly method. This uh, these tubes must have been like how long? They must have been like uh, you know, third hundred foot long. Don't know. I've never used one of them. We used to use an alkathene pipe. Basically, we used to shove a, a pipe up similar to that one length which was connected to an air breach. And the air breach, you drop the you drop the gel into the air breach and it fired it up the tube and you just kept pulling the pipe back. Never used a tube like that. Similar sort of idea, I suppose, but they taped them together. Yeah, we just it's the them. same idea. The idea is you push the explosive all the way into the long hole because these holes were like, particularly well, what, here in Milan, they did. would have been an insulic hole, how, under a foot, something like that. How we Sorry? did it, you, you fired it up the hole but you, you, you just kept pulling the tube back as you were firing it up. So it was actually compressing because it because it, it was fired up at such a great rate because it was fired through a breach. So it was like basically firing it through a gun type sort of thing because that's how it worked. And you, you just kept pulling it back and you pulled it back and pulled it back until you were probably about six or eight foot from the bottom of the hole. And then you used to stem it up with clay and you, you'd get it be on the bottom of it and then you fire it like that. But uh, your tubes, was, we just reused it. We didn't uh, shove them up like that at all. Yeah, we with the, with the tube. tubes, they were reusable, basically. And the we, system you used, it, 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 was like, it wasn't reusable. You know, do, do you know the water pipe you've seen in the mine there, the, the, the blue plastic water pipe that you've seen yeah. in there, you've seen in Salitol? That is pretty well what we used. We used to just push it up the hole. I mean, we might have 100, 150 foot holes and, you know, you'd, you'd, you'd put it right up to the top and you'd fire. So you've had 150 foot of that tube pushed up the hole and just keep pulling it wow. back. Until, yeah. uh, it was full. You could have 10 ton of ten ton of powder up a hole in, 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 a, in a round, as deft as it seems. A hell of a bang when it used to go. Ten tons in one single well say phase. Ten. Maybe not. Maybe maybe about four or five. But yeah, there were a lot. Yeah, hell of a lot. Yeah. Uh, the 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 bang must have been like a mini earthquake on the ground. <laughs> you must have felt the 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 ground shaking when it, well, that went every, bang. You, you used to fire it at the end of a shift, so everybody'd be out of the mine, and you'd fire at long goals. When everybody had gone out, and then we'd come out last sort of thing. But yeah, it used to go right yeah. back. Yeah, of course, because the dust and the air would uh, it would be unbreathable straight away. So you just have to be out. Well, when yeah, you fired, wait you for used, the next day. When you fired, you turned off the fans while you fired, 
and then as soon as you as soon as you fired it turn them back on again so to clear it yeah thanks for elaborating on that tom it's 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 really great to have you here you know just to bring details into a lot of the stuff that we're watching in history we're going to be moving on and soon we're going to be seeing the drill rigs actually so we're going to get on to them through the hole mm -hmm. again massive massive stop i'm not going to get to the edge because it no, looks like it drops you can talk us about this uh, drill rig here we go just over the one upstairs two meter drill 41 holes bang and then loaders and dumpers come to fetch it all out and then cycle starts again you can drill that head in 41 holes in about 40 minutes it's yeah about a hole a minute much better than the olden days well, where because they're all... electric it's got a much more powerful pump and yeah stuff. Yeah. Much better than doing doing it by hand like in the olden days. Ah, oh, it's just a uh, do it with a puma drill. Check the shift. Was that Tom? I say if you did it with a puma drill rig, uh, air drill on by hand on an air leg, to probably take your shift. Yeah, that yeah. So the old puma drill ended up to drill around. Yeah. Up. The old puma drills, yeah, they were standing on one single legs and they were also hydraulic driven where they um you basically just driving the whole hole by hole a full yeah, shift would have were, taken yeah they were air they were air weren't they on a leg oh, driven, compressed truck. driven by air compressed air okay yeah have you have you used any of them uh all yeah. the puma drills yeah i have i've got one in back garden as well that i'm doing up yeah yeah and uh obviously just to come to this you know drill rigs that like jeff says you know 40 minutes to drive 41 holes that is a great advance in, in in terms of mining technology over the decades i mean oh god i mean you know when they had a they had a face rig they had a sacoma face rig uh at salitol that came when i worked there i mean the one that they had up here i can't i can't remember what make it was now but the original one they had which they actually drove all the roadways with, um, was a similar similar idea, um, but you'd only got like a six foot steel on it. They were nowhere near as powerful as them things. There, them things are unbelievable. Then, then they're unbelievable. If they could drill a round off, uh, a round off in forty minutes, all a minute, that's going some. That is no that chance. Is going. That is It is going. Yeah, 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 and uh, on. On a future video that we're going to be reviewing because there's four parts to the to the lady to the Mildan mine series there's four parts of it on the i think it's on the second part we're going to be seeing uh one of the old uh, drill rigs that you used to use on the ground actually and uh i am guessing it was quite much older than this one this looks like quite new does it mm. i guess you never used uh, this one have you no no that's that's modern that is yeah that's, that's modern yeah 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 so we're going to be seeing uh the old lady <laughs> uh you 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 love <laughs> old that, uh, you used to drive yeah the boy uh, we're going to be seeing on a future series how long will the drill bit last depends uh how long's a piece of string i suppose it's um a lot of these had uh knock on bits so you could you could put fresh bits on them um it varies we're not going to be seeing them actually on on what on, not on this video and uh, i think on, on the next series we're going to be seeing the the actual sort of front piece like the drill bit that you uh, screw on onto the yeah. long long steels yeah um but i mean and, on these i can't uh, i honestly don't know it's, it's how long's a piece of string if they get bent the steel gets bent then you put another steel on but the but yeah. the uh, the steels they use on this sort of rig and the ones that they use on a long old rig were two different types totally different long old rigs sort of fastened together yeah what's that how do you, a modern mine is had it easy had it easy drill fire and muck out heading in four hours or less yeah i wish <laughs> 
drill fire mock out the head in him four hours or less and in your days was a full shift but basically tom the whole Sometimes process of drilling as firing as in a way as daft as it seems it could uh, it has been known for him to take two shifts to get around on if you were doing it by hand wow. if it was uh hard going yeah, yeah. As, as as the equipment has advanced, you know, modern machinery, you know, it's uh, like uh, John says here, the, the, the whole process of drilling, blasting, mocking away is, is reduced to four hours. That's mm. quite incredible, actually. And I guess with them powerful uh, ventilation fans, they could extract all the dust out straight away, you know, and off they go again. It's advancement, isn't it, really? Hey, it's advancement, isn't it? When you think about it, when you oh, when absolutely you look, at, you look at that, I mean, the amount of hydraulic systems on that rig compared to the older ones, where you'd probably have two or three pipes. I mean, there's what at least yeah. on that, at least. Yeah, you can see the amount of pipes straight away when you look at it. Is is like <laughs> that? That gives it gives you an idea of the extra power it has. Mm. Yeah, extra drilling power, most definitely. Okay, let's uh, let's move on with the video. See what else we got now. Incredible machines. You can see all the hydro hydraulic tubes to drive all the drills. Okay. It's just amazing. Have you ever used one of them, Tom? No, it's too modern. Too modern. Too modern. Too modern. Too far too modern. Is this a cassette one? Eh? No, this is just an ordinary drill. Face drill. I'll show you the cassette one when we get to it. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's, I mean, we had we had drill like we had two bowar face rigs. One came to Salitol. That's why we had to stop using the pumas because of that. And this one, or well, one like this, came here as well. And you will fantastic. You'll remember seeing this switch here in one of your minds because this comes from Salito. Yeah, yeah. This is 25 to 30 years old, that switch gear. Oh, there's one the same or similar in Sally Yeah. Did that came, come from Sally That Salitol. come from Salito. Yeah, the switch come out gear. The substation, it had it. Yeah. And what is yeah. this? What is this? That's the 333 three, 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 volt feeder. That's how I've improved things up here. I've made power in. <laughs> Okay, so this is basically like a battery. A big switch. <laughs> a big switch. Battery. Yeah, but it's 3,300 volt. Wow. But yeah, it's done the end. It looks like something out. It converts, it converts the, 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 the power, does it, the electric power. Uh, does it reduce it or amplify it? I guess it reduces it, does it? Um, do you know, mate, if it's a transformer, that sort of thing, then it'll reduce it, won't it, from 3,000, whatever yeah, it will be down to something you can yeah. plug into. Three phase, I presume. Yeah, yeah that's it. And uh, we're going to see the switch here. Uh, on, on one of the videos, um, my my mate, uh, Steve, Steve Daggers, was quite explaining how it worked. I was flabbergasted because obviously he's into his electrics. Mm. And and to me, looking at that, unless someone explains me clearly where it is, you know. But after what you've told me and what Steve told me, I think I got the idea. Uh, we're going to see some of the switch gear that, as we said, uh, it was originally from Solid Hall, but it, it looks in uh, quite good nick when you look at it. We're going to get to oh, it man, now. You Frankenstein that. lab. Yeah. That, that trailer that, that trailer that he's on. Yeah. That looks like it's one of the old converted. Um, well, the axle definitely is. He's off one of the old tipping trailers, off one of the uh, mm. Morton uh, dumpers, like the one outside. Yeah, you'll remember that because that was used there. This way, it's all pumps. It does. In the whole mine, or just in an area? Just in this area. Yeah. Just in this area. I'm not certain. I think you know that you know the transport. You know when you go around to go to one thirties and there's the old substation there and the it where it's all ripped out. Yeah. Well, I think that sat in there because that was the only substation in the mine at the well, time. This was actually when I come at sub one. In here. here yeah. Sub one. But I'm, since then I've changed all electrical systems. You can have a copy of that when we get out of the mine. 
I don't understand that. That's but the electrical system. Um, is this basically is all the electric distribution of the whole mine? Really, is it in yeah in one plan? You've yeah. got that, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, I did. I, I did. Uh, I did get a photo of it actually. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a big fan of taking like actual physical things from mines. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, yeah, I got a good photo, and it just gives it quite clearly away, and uh, uh, it, it, it's fascinating how uh, everything works, really. So uh, beyond me, that is. Got, eh? That's beyond me. No, no, you think yes. electric, you is it? Yeah, thank You're you. Yes, I am filming it. So. man. That's wonderful. Thank you. Practical hands-on machine, wow. eh? Tom, well, Obviously, yeah, you can see the filter there. Yeah. It's not a filter, it's an impeller in there. That's what sucks your water up. That just stops stone going in. Let's see what he's saying. Yeah. Look at this. Get a bit of perspective when uh, you're behind. It's huge, isn't it? Absolutely huge. Can't get over it. Sorry, what is, what is this? It's called a safe haven. A safe haven. Yeah. Uh, you open these two doors and a big tent comes out to just the other side where Tom stood and all the men climb in it and there's oxygen fed with bottles to keep the men alive in a proper one. Ah, so they don't crawl in that door? No, they don't. They crawl in the tent. And okay, and that feeds the oxygen in the tent. Yes. Yeah. But this is just one to practice on. Yeah. The electric. There's, a pro there's a proper one that's over at Milby. Can I get a bit closer? Is that yeah, right? Yeah, just to get the size of it, uh, it's about what eight foot by. Well, the other five. one, the proper one, is actually four um, two meters longer because it's got ten oxygen bottles laid in. Wow, it's a bit like you know, like yeah, emergency life rafts on a, on a boat, and you pull a thing and they pop out. Yeah, well, that's a similar sort of thing when you open them doors there, it will just. And here has that's the oxygen tank. Look at the size of this. Yeah, it's the actual oxygen tank. That's mental. Just to see, to get the size of it. Fresh air bay training unit. Now, it's interesting, Jeff. Um, yeah, John is saying about yeah, Douglas is the man for electrical. Definitely, every time I to get him exploring him underground with me. And this something uh, mm. electrical. He'll he'll explain it very thoroughly and 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 kind of breaking down to my level of understanding, you know, because I'm not an electrician. So it's always good to have a friend like that, and obviously someone like you, Tom, that can uh, you know uh, explain a lot more details on the mining, on the machines, and and I was going to ask you a question on this, Tom. Jeff said that this is one for practicing a fresh air base for practicing yeah is that right so they didn't actually use this one not that or one they, no, that, or they that would, was just a training or they one. wouldn't use this one so in case of an emergency this was not the one to use this was for no. this was for practice apparently the one from what john told me the one that they used Went over to the mill to be refitted. I think did he say it, took, it leaked to something, and then they had to go and have it refurbed because it was. Uh, I think it ended up getting full of water as well when it flooded, and uh, it uh, were all very, very uh, not very nice inside. So it all had to be cleaned. I thought John. I think John cleaned it all out, but it never came back because the mine never. Uh, you know, it yeah. shut, didn't it? It never carried on. Yes. Yes. No. Yes. Well, yeah that's that's what i understood that this was only the practice one so if uh if they needed the fresh air base then they were buggered basically <laughs> self-rescuers here they come yeah so we'll uh we'll move on we gotta think hey we're near to the end of this now well, yeah looks like it yeah, they didn't take any chances, obviously. In emergency cases, they would need... Radio on top. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty impressive stuff. To be continued.
yeah there's always a there's always a next uh a next episode we have uh we have three more to go uh we are going to be doing another another session sometime next month we got to schedule it obviously yeah we'll see and I uh one in a bit I might even be able to sneak another one in maybe two yeah yeah i mean uh yeah we're gonna we're gonna talk about it but there's three more videos of this series that we're gonna run through and uh believe it or believe it or not tom this has been very useful also for me for for my knowledge of everything mining related you know and to go through it to look at the video and have you explaining and elaborating a bit more detail it, it, it has been very useful i hope all the viewers also have uh, felt the same because that's personally how i felt it's been very instructive so thanks tom and uh right. just just to let you know obviously that to let you all know that there is going to be uh a next a next episode very soon we have well, a comment from john he's on about that uh, uh, so that chamber there what i told you about it being in the mill he cleaned it but uh it never got used yeah so the actual or real chamber never got he says never it, got basically says refurbished they pumped it up and it were ruined it were knackered it, it had got flooded it, it knackered it now yeah. i'm thinking about yeah. the next one i'm on holiday uh easter week so maybe we could do one that week uh on an evening yeah and then maybe do yep. another one later in the month so we could not maybe two out in uh, april so we can sort of get it otherwise a bit of a long gap between them isn't they yeah we're gonna we're gonna schedule them yeah uh try not to leave too big of a gap uh and uh you watch out for the obviously for the link of the anything that's upcoming any live chats uh i'm gonna post them uh in in youtube stories and on instagram as well for those that are on instagram on facebook and so will tom so there's going to be plenty of you know notice for everyone to know when is it coming uh and john is going to send us both the pictures of the rescue chamber that sounds good thank you john yes yes but this this uh there's been quite a lot that i've got from john so thanks for everything that you send me and uh we could yeah we're going to be review, review, reviewing quite a lot of pictures as well apart from video you know yeah uh we've been on one hour and 42 minutes can you believe it tom mm, 43 now <laughs> it's gone uh it's gone fast and it just That's goes long. to show with on our video how much That's there is to talk time. about really and definitely to, to break down i i, I feel I feel like I could go and work down the mines, Tom. After all you show, you told me. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready to be a miner. <laughs> I've just right. uh, thank just you. A quick, just a quick one. Um, I'm just having a look. That last video I put out of uh, of uh, Salito. Uh, Mr. Ridley Marks had a look at it and uh, give us a thumbs up. So uh, he, he enjoyed it. Well, which is good. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's great, isn't it? I mean, uh, just, just go on, go on Tom's channel, guys, and check out the latest his, video, latest video, really, which is, uh, yeah. It's basically got unseen footage from Sally Toll Mine from the early 90s, and it's uh, basically home movie from the mine that one of the miners took. And uh, I've sort of got it cleaned up and uh, put it on to uh, YouTube. And it's this one's interesting, the next one's even better, so you'll love it. I'm sure, you will. Yeah, and the original footage, footage from Sally Hall from back from the 1991. Uh, 91 Ish. i think it was thereabouts but you, you just when you look at it you look at the yard of the mine and you look you, you just look at it now and you just can't even imagine what it was like until you see that video 
it's it's unbelievable and it really is good and it just shows you actually how they mind it back then as well when we get into it you'll see and uh, you'll enjoy it i think yeah i think uh we're all quite looking forward to uh the rest of the series because obviously you put the first one out but uh there's another three to go is that right yeah there is yeah next one will be next week i'll do it next week i'll get it up and done for next week i'll after that's underground as well so that'd be really good and uh guys while while i'm on it here i'm gonna post the link to tom's latest video uh which is the one that i said that he he said that basically uh talks about uh, uh well talks is the original footage from sally hall from 1991 original footage from sally hall i'll say it again i mean is nothing that uh there's anything like it on uh, youtube or even pictures of of it is 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 something very exclusive that tom very kindly has shared with everyone and um, i'm sure that all the miners that are in were involved in that video were in that video you know like you say they much appreciate to see it as well it's part, yeah, of, the, well, it's part of the history I'm glad that to my mate Mark, Mark Howard, who worked with Fitter at Solitol when I worked there. In fact, he worked at Mildam as well as a Fitter at one time. I'm glad he sent it for me to get sorted out. It's uh, it is it's really good. I enjoy, you know. Yeah, you'll enjoy yeah. it. And um, yeah, and 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 when you when you go and see the area now, compared to what it, you know, what it, what you see on the videos, like, oh my God, how many buildings was there? How big? How bigger buildings? Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, and it's all overgrown now it's like nothing like it is it? it's like well the old glory days the uh the, the, the as you, if you when you watch it the, the 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 building the first building you see as you're going up on the right hand side was the compressor house and that had six uh i think they were ingersoll rank compressors in there you imagine having six compressors that's a hell of a bloody thing isn't it that yeah, run that, yeah. that run the air around that mine it's, it was massive it honestly it was and uh we have uh mr roy fellows uh here on on the chat uh i have nothing but deep respect respect for this gentleman for all the uh mine restoration work that he has in, been involved in in uh, wales and all over the uk um yes very well known uh character on on added now and uh a, a still active uh caver a mine explorer i haven't met him personally but it would definitely be a pleasure so yeah mr roy fellows here thank you thanks for joining the chat um uh, yeah so i think we're gonna wrap it up for today yeah uh we'll see my other for various reasons that. one one that the missus is going to be <laughs> giving us a tell enough for being that long now that they're, 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 they are understanding and uh, yes we're definitely going to be back for a second part of this so hopefully guys can all join the chat and there's going to be more of the footage and uh, from from Milden mine and more reviewing from Tom and more input from anyone else that's here on the chat uh we have uh gareth here from abandoned and forgotten wales we met him last week actually met uh, gareth and uh all the other lads that uh i went exploring with good fun uh good uh, fun uh loving mine explorers you know that uh that really have great sense of humor great deep respect for the mines you know and the artifacts that are anything historical you know it was really a pleasure to meet them back in i think it was two weeks ago yeah in uh in commist with mines and uh i shall be meeting them hopefully uh in a, in a couple of weeks again we've got something planned we're not going to give many spoilers so yeah thanks uh gareth for joining the chat and thank you everyone thanks everyone else uh well it's been a pleasure thanks tom yeah, it's again been good I enjoyed it and uh we're gonna end the live stream now and uh shall uh, 
shall wish you all a uh, good night. Yeah, good night, everybody. Take care. See you later.